present from the boss to be used twice daily as a memento of how time flies. A funny present? Well, it's all according to what you mean by funny. It's no laughing matter. In fact, it has to do with a very serious problem. The grains of sand in this hourglass have been carefully measured. Ten minutes, the length of a coffee break. The problem? Well, it seems like some people just don't know how to tell time. And according to the boss, it's costing the company thousands of dollars every year. Now, now, don't get me wrong. Uh, I like coffee. In fact, I'd be out on a break right now if it wasn't because, well, I, I'm on a spot. It's up to me to figure out a way for the people to realize that a coffee break means 10 minutes or 15 at the most. Seems like a small thing to get upset about, but it's pretty big when it comes to dollars and cents. You'd be surprised, like I was in the boss's office. The extent of the problem is pointed up by the fact that today, more than seven out of 10 workers are taking their coffee breaks, as compared with only half this number 10 years ago. Now listen to this. The hot cups of coffee enjoyed by about 27 million American is costing industry more than a billion dollars annually. Now think of that. Over a billion dollars. Yeah, that's those national figures for you. Thousands of industries, millions of people. Well, let's bring it down to our own level. What would you guess a coffee break is costing us? You're really serious about this, aren't you? We're not a big operation, Joe. 400 people on the payroll. Even so, I'd bet my bottom buck the coffee break is costing us at least $30,000 a year. What? That's right, $30,000. All that has to happen, and it does happen, is for half of our people to take an extra 10 minutes. Now figure it up. A daily loss of $130 multiplied by 242 working days in the year. Go on, figure it out. $30,000. OK, but what can we do about it? A coffee break is almost an American institution. You can't just call them off. You'd start a revolution. I'm not talking about the break itself. That's another 10 minutes, another 30,000. I'm talking about the abuse of the break. The 30 grand I don't think we should have to pay. Well, now, there's more to this than meets the eye. Mm, you can say that again, a lot more. For the past two weeks, I've studied the coffee break habits of our people. Now, that 10 minutes starts when they get their hands on the cup of coffee. What happens before and after is a matter of small concern, to them, that is. <laughs> Hey, Mac, it's about that time. Man, you are so right. Shop early and avoid the crowd, huh? Got a match? I think so. I must have left mine at the bowling alley last night. Here we are. That's the way it starts. Somebody leaves early, first thing you know, they're all gone. 
Well, almost everybody. At least the coffee break starts five, ten minutes ahead of time. Well, maybe they do avoid the rush. Maybe it's better if they don't all go at once. Sure. Except for the fact that on the way... Hey, Frankie boy, time to live it up. In a hurry. What's up? We've well, got to get this thing out. I'll be through in a minute. Take your time. Hey, Frank. Yeah? What's this, something new? This is my pride and joy. Well, it's a fun, what, what is it though? Time has a way of getting away from us, Joe. Those minutes that mean nothing to the employee cost this organization a lot of dough. Well, Al, you're the boss. We'll do whatever you say. However, I do think that there's a danger of losing sight of the worker's viewpoint. Okay, I go along with that. That's one of the reasons why you're here. As personnel manager, I expect you to represent the people. Speak up. Well, Al, the average worker thinks of himself as being chained to a desk with mountains of work around him that never gets done. <laughs> That clock on the wall with the magic hours of 10 and 3 is a key to momentary freedom. And he needs that freedom. Oh, Joe, that's ridiculous. You're overplaying it. We all have to conform to rules and regulations. You do, I do, everybody does. Mm, true, but, uh, but that's too general. Let's, let's nail it down. Monotony is our problem. Monotony can cause the worker to forget logic and common sense the coffee break stands for something. Take it away and it suddenly becomes very important. The loss can result in bigger and more costly problems. I'm not asking that it be taken away. All I'm asking is that they take their 10 minutes and let it go at that. Okay, but is that possible? Well, that sounds like a leading question, but let's have it. Oh, well, if the worker has only 10 minutes, is it possible for him to get to the place, get his coffee and get back in that length of time? Well, I hate to put it like this, Joe, but that's not my problem. <laughs> well, it isn't, and yet it is, if the situation results in lost time. Any suggestions? What about coffee dispensers located in certain areas? No good. Amalgamated tried that. They really did it up brown. Stood the expense. Had an attendant come in twice daily. And at first, everybody thought it was a great idea. It was something for nothing. Right away, the boss was a great guy. But it wasn't long until... This is coffee? Gets worse every day. Gee, what a chintzy outfit. And it wasn't long before human nature began to show through in other ways. Speaking of problems, the company-sponsored coffee break has a few of its own. But getting back to this matter of ample time, I'd be more lenient in my thinking if the abuse did stem from having to wait for service. Usually, it's an entirely different situation. I thought you liked it where you were. I did, I did. But, you know, Jake, uh, haven't you guys heard? No, no, no. Oh, Jake the foreman, you know Jake the foreman? Yeah. Me and Jake get into it over a matter of policy. Can you imagine <laughs> Jake telling me, telling me how to run the shop? <laughs> Can you imagine that? Hey, bring, bring telling me how to, please. I'll tell you, listen, there's two things that... When they take too long at the coffee break, they start yakking and slipping the knife into each other like a bunch of old women. But on the other hand, Al, it can be a place where business is transacted. Oh, sure, it can be a period for goofing off, but it also can be a good thing. A time when your people get to know each other. That's good. Don't you work better with people you know? If you're working around strangers, you spend a lot of time trying to size them up. <laughs> well, you're a worthy opponent, I'll say that. But now let's consider one of my pet peeves. Women. Of course, they all have to stop by the powder room. 
Their 10 minutes is gone with a cigarette and putting on a new face. Harry's Diner or the Waldorf. It's all the same. You never know who might be there. And talk about the grapevine. Brother, this is where the original seeds are planted. Another complaint is that all too often the few that fear each other get in their own little circle and other people are left out. And where do they go on the way back to the office? You guessed it, the powder room again. And all the readiness procedures and the countless little adjustments known only to a woman. For the first time in our whole discussion, you're on tilt. Do I detect a bit of personal prejudice? To a degree, perhaps. But there's a lot of truth in what I've said. Certain people take from 30 to 45 minutes for a coffee break. Well, I can remedy that. No, Joe, they're good workers. Otherwise, you'd have had their names long before this. No, there has to be another solution. This is human nature. Now, you're the expert, so I'm giving you the problem. And I'm expecting a solution. Ouch. Now, you may have an educational problem on your hands. But one way or another, I want our people to realize management side of this problem, the dollars and cents angle. Our people must be taught not to take advantage of a situation that just grew like Topsy. Here's a present for you, Joe. For me? Well, thanks. Go on. Open it. I know you've seen one of those before, but this one's special. Turn it over. Instead of an hour, this one measures 10 minutes the theoretical length of time of one of our coffee breaks. Now, I want you to use this twice daily, at 10 and 3, for the length of time necessary for you to come up with a solution to our problem. A solution to the problem. Hey, Joe. Didn't see you down for coffee, man. I thought maybe you might be hurting. Yeah, I'm hurting all right. How's it? Oh, nothing. Never mind. You'll hear about Joe, it soon enough. Joe, this is a cup of coffee. Thank you for the coffee. Yeah, any time, Joe, any time. Well, at least it keeps me close to the problem. But it still leaves me with one vital, unanswered question. What can be done about it? 